Hey guys, it's Courtney and Seth here today, and today we have another Pit Stop episode for you. We are going to be visiting Pat O'Brien's restaurant in City Walk here on property at Universal Studios Orlando, and we have never eaten here before, so this is going to be a first time pretty honest review, but we're pretty excited. We've heard some really good things about this restaurant, um, so be sure to stay tuned to look at the menu and the restaurant itself. So if you'd like to join us, let's go. So to get to Pat O'Brien's, basically you're just gonna come to the middle of City Walk, where this little fountain area is, straight up the stairs, and it's a straight shot. This Pat O'Brien's location opened in February of 1999. This restaurant is an authentic reproduction of a New Orleans favorite watering hole and proud to be part of the original home of dueling pianos, the Flaming Fountain Patio, and the world famous Hurricane Specialty Drink. Get a taste of Bourbon Street at this Bayou Bar where dueling piano players accompany a menu of Cajun specialties. As you come inside the restaurant, you are also reminded of the original restaurant's history with some information about the different rooms you can dine in. So when you come in to the left there, they've got the main bar. Also has a sign for locals bar. Looks like a much quieter, cozy little place. Simply just a bar if you're just wanting drinks, maybe some of the snacks. And we've been seated at the piano bar, which is uh, to the right as you come in. So directly in the back, it looks like they've got some awesome outdoor seating with this cool little fountain with fire and a nice little covered bar there. So now that we have taken a look around, let's take our seats and check out the menu. And the first thing we noticed and heard are the dueling pianos. This unique show will typically run from around 5 to 6 p.m. until midnight or after, depending on the day of the week. So once again, the Universal menus do have the QR code to scan, so you guys can go ahead and scan this at home to view the menu. So I've chosen the Tropical Depression Cocktail. It comes with some coconut rum and pineapple juice. Seth is ordering the Half and Half, a mix of Harp and Guinness. We are also going to start with the crawfish dip as our appetizer. And since Mardi Gras let me down with no etouffee this year, I am very happy to try the dish here. Also, Seth has decided on the Creole chicken plate with rice and beans. So here's a quick look at our crawfish dip appetizer. It looks like it's a pretty large portion of chip with a toasted topping on the dip itself. Also here's my tropical depression cocktail. I did notice that the menu mentioned a cream mixer of some sorts and you can definitely see that here in the color of the drink. And we also have Seth's Half and Half, a classic drink that needs no introduction. And here we have Seth's Creole chicken plate. I assume the rice and beans are going to be underneath the chicken here. And let's not forget about my hearty helping of crawfish etouffee. One thing I do love about this restaurant so far is definitely the atmosphere. Even though it is loud with the performance, you can tell that it's definitely mimicked on a small town bar since it feels very cozy and traditional. Also, don't forget to go up to the dueling pianos and request a song. Here's a closer look at the piano song request form. So also at Pat O'Brien's, they do have a drink to go. It looks like this section does connect to the bar side. So feel free to stop by and just pick you up a drink and carry it around City Walk. All right, guys, so we are all done with the restaurant in City Walk called Pat O'Brien's. Um, that was our first experience there. We really enjoyed it. Um, we'll start with the drinks. I got the Tropical Depression, right? Yep. Yeah, and um, it was very strong. Um, if you're looking for a cocktail that is a little on the fruity side, but still they don't, you know, dip you out on the alcohol, I highly recommend that one because it was super strong. Um, and we also got the um, appetizer for uh, us to split. Yeah, the and crawfish. it was crawfish dip. Yep. Yeah. It was good. It had like a yeah. cornbread breading. Yeah. Yeah, I like cornmeal. Yeah, yeah, like kind of on the top. So that gave it like a crunch and it was really good. Mm -hmm. um, so I really like that. And it actually came with like some nice tortilla chips. It was a good helping. Yeah. Um, we didn't even finish it. So that was, that was really good. The crawfish was like super small little pieces so it wasn't too overpowering yeah, yeah it's all it's not like the crawfish like it's still in the shell so it's like yeah, all the yeah pieces it was a very little pieces yeah. and it was um mixed up pretty well but you got what drink 
I got a half and half, mm -hmm. which is the Guinness and Heart mixed. Yeah, that's pretty so, self-explanatory. Yeah. Nothing, you know, special just to the restaurant. But um, we'll start with now our entrees. I got the crawfish etouffee. I um, was really sad when Mardi Gras didn't have our etouffee um, this past time for Mardi Gras. So I'm definitely going to keep this restaurant under my belt yeah. if I really want some um, food that's a little bit more Mardi Gras inspired, especially here at Universal, then I'll definitely be sure to, to head back that way and get the etouffee. But it was delicious. I had plenty of rice um, and they had it on top. So I was able to just eat some white rice, you know, and then mix them in with like the peppers and onions. It had a ton of sausage and crawfish. Again, didn't even finish it. It was so big. The portion size was so big. But what'd you get? I got the Creole chicken. Mm -hmm. That was pretty good. The uh, the only thing I would say is the chicken was a little. It had blackened yeah, chicken, like two like chicken breasts. It was a little dry, but it, it wasn't too bad. Especially that it had the Creole Creole, Creole sauce. Yeah, you want probably a little uh, bit more of that. Yeah, right? I would have had. I would have loved even more. It had a nice spice to it, mm -hmm. and then they had like some peppers and tomato with that, along with the rice you and said it was like dirty beans. rice. Though, yeah, it was kind of like a sauce sausage like the dirty rice yeah. uh, and some black beans in the rice so mm -hmm. it was pretty tasty uh, yeah. it wasn't bad for the price that item was $16 or $15.95 yeah. um, yeah. and then they also had the dueling pianos oh there. that was okay so uh, the thing about the atmosphere is it's very rowdy so if you yeah. go in knowing that you'll be fine but as soon as we walked in we were kind of like yeah, I didn't we were taken quite back. expect it. Yeah, because it was there was a large party beside of us, and they had already kind of been getting into it with them. And you can request songs and everything like that, which we mentioned yeah. earlier um, for the dueling piano. So once we got you know sat down and settled and, and got our um, appetizer and, and our food and stuff, we got a little bit more into the atmosphere. So mm -hmm. just go into that knowing that it's going to be a little bit rowdy, but once you get used to it, you'll be fine. Um, but everything was delicious. We will definitely be going back. I cannot believe we haven't tried this already. Yeah, it's kind of kind of crazy as many times we've been here and we yeah. haven't even tried that yeah. until now. Um, but we hope you guys get to visit soon. Leave us a comment. Let us know if you've ever eaten here before or if you plan on eating here in the future, which, again, highly recommend that you do so. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Universal content coming soon. But until next time, we hope, hope to see you on, on the next adventure. adventure. Bye.